morning when we woke up on Prius Street, we had two tables or three tables for breakfast because we all couldn't fit in the kitchen. You know, so you better be on time and you better show up, you know, and you better speak your piece or you're going to get left behind or left out, one of the two. And uh, it also forces you to learn how to work with other people, you know, which is important. But you can imagine what a house full of nine kids is. Plus, my mother had nine children in 11 years. So it wasn't as though anybody was absent. We had 13 people living in our house at one time because my grandmother and my grandfather lived with us as well, along with a couple of dogs. When you're in the middle, you learn how to help people get along or you get run over. And I really, it's, it's, it's been really Im an important part of my life and I'm most informed everything that I've done. You know, people, when they try to peg me politically, laugh right, and generally what they find is that I'm trying to be a consensus builder. All of us uh, lived in this very small space. My father was the mayor at the time. He became mayor when I was eight years old. So I don't have much of a recollection of life when he wasn't, you know, in the public eye. You know, one of the great stories that we have is that he would not um, go out to eat with dignitaries when they came into town. He made them come to our house. So every night at six o'clock, we'd have dinner at a house that my mother or my grandmother would prepare. You know, they were very lo loving parents, but they were very stern. You know, discipline was the order of the day, but also a really compassionate hand. So it wasn't, it wasn't anything untoward or, or out of, it was very common for that time. It was a lot of fun growing up in a big household. We all got along very, very well, and we still do. I don't know what Mitch told you, but, um... Well, I liked her at first sight. She didn't like me for a really long time. <laughs> Mitch and I did not know each other. We met on the first day of law school um, in, at Loyola. As Mitch tells it, he saw me the first day and knew that he wanted to date me, and I didn't really know him or notice him that day. But she eventually went out with me. I perceived it to be a good friendship, and he apparently perceived it to be more because he would go tell his, his brothers that he was going to marry me, and his brothers would tell my brother, and my brother would say, do you even know Mitch Landrieu? <laughs> I'd say, yeah, but not marrying him. I had to do a lot of convincing. We were good friends. We would go to events together sometimes, but we weren't, I didn't consider us to be dating. But she eventually went out with me. He was very energetic in law school and was doing theater in law school, and we just were good friends. And so it wasn't until after law school that, um, that we started dating through theater, actually. I went and saw Mitch, and the, the kind of the turning point for our relationship as I went and saw him, Mitch played um, Che Guevara in Evita at Le Petit in 1985, the year we graduated from law school. And he was spectacular. And something clicked in me that day, and he always te teases me that I fell in love with Che Guevara rather than him, which could, could be true, but he's got a lot of Che in him. You know, he's got a lot of that kind of chase spirit. So that's kind of how it happened. And then we started dating and we got married two years later. But she eventually went out with me and, you know, decided to say yes when I asked her to marry me. We got married. We have five children, three of them in college. One of them is at, in high school in New Orleans and another is at a public school uh, in New Orleans. So we both knew we wanted to have a lot of kids. Now, we had five, and it's by today's standard, it's it's a larger family than most people have, and it's a lot. It's a it's a huge a huge challenge for us, but we enjoy it. They're um, they're growing up now, and so it's 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 good. We've had a wonderful life together. She's been very supportive. This, I know this sounds strange to some members of the public, but we don't really see ourselves as a political family. Um, my, Mary is my sister. Madeline's my sister. My, my father is not just my dad, but he's the grandfather of our of my children. There are 37 kids in our family, and we're much more interested in each other from the perspective of brother and sister than we are from whether somebody's a United States Senator or an ex-mayor. It's not something that we talk about a lot. We don't sit around the table talking about political strategy or political advice or political counsel. We rarely ever talk about it, as a matter of fact, because there's just so much more to do. It's wonderful to be part of a big family like that. We have great relationships. We always have, um, but it, it really doesn't focus around politics.